Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm your host, The Lost Chevalier, and I welcome you back to the Fermi Paradox. There has been a new update with a lot of things into the thing, into the game. Added new events, new first contact events, even some sort of like, uh, how do you say this? Like, two nations living together, two species living together. So there should be a lot of things, new things to explore and to feel and to read. So let's do this, shall we? I know already how to play, so I will just move along and do this a fast let's play. Of course, I will read every single event, but still. Let's go. Let's try to survive, shall we? Galaxy generation, come on, do it quickly. A new galaxy is born. Why, I can close this. What do you mean by closing this? Oh no, this is the... <laughs> That's the menu. Billions of stars are floor, planets are taking shape. I was going to do three videos today, but I feel a little over overwhelmed lately. Like I'm having a, a little burnout, so I will just do one of a video game that I really, really love. And that is the Fermi Paradox. So, let's start, shall we? Would you like to play the tutorial? No. I already know how to play, thank you very much. Do 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 Continue to drift creates a new Lancemans in Virgo. In Regal, an asteroid trapping a gas giant gravity well becoming a permanent moon. Tau Ceti evolution event. Something has evolved in Tau Ceti. A life form on the swamp planet Tau Ceti tree has started making simple tools and develop a rudimentary language, but which species will have will form a Stone Age civilization in the Tau Ceti system? Let me see what we got. I think we will go for... Yeah, we will go with the plants. These tall intelligent plant creatures undergo countless stages in their century-long life cycle. Let's go with the balanced species. And we will start to pick up uh, beast feces. Feces, like feces. Well, you basically live in soil fertility, so I can actually understand that. Interesting. Injustice in Tau Ceti. Well, that was fast. The Rama came to believe that nightmares are messages sent by mighty spirits. In order to receive much more sacred messages, the Sun Rana began deliberately traumatizing children, placing them in disturbing and dangerous situations to encourage nightmares. One cannot stop sleeping in fear of bad dreams. Amaric proper Ethiopia soul system. Well, I'll be done. You started really badly. Regular developer, while a few are able to endure traumatizing their own children, the belief in sacred nightmares endures. A few selected children are chosen every generation to become night talkers, each under undergoing a horrific upbringing to fulfill their sacred role. My god. So sad to you to go that way, but what are we gonna do? The sun will go dark if we face sacrificing to the gods. Oh my god. Um, give me a little of growth. Just 2% will be okay. I'm picking that up just in case uh, end of the world scenario happens. If that will ever manage to happen, I need to be ready to take the, the punch to the population growth. I don't know what the hell is this. Conflict with two major beds settled peacefully. More resources, they're always needed. Rana Seeds development event. What happened now? Growth in Tau Ceti. Among the swamps of Tau Ceti tree, wise folk discover a unique fungal mod slurry that has healing properties. The practice of medicine is revolutionized overnight as child mortality plummets and once fatal infections can now be easily vanquished. Nature makes penicillin, I just found it. Alexander Fleming. Scotch's Microbiology's 20th Century CE Soul System. Interesting, what do we have? Um, 
The healing mod is rare and has to be harvested from a faraway land regions. So only a few benefit from its great, incredible health properties. Oh, we can go with healing ooze. Quackwise folk begin selling fake healing mug to guileable Rana. The secret of the authentic recipe is soon lost. Civilization Pilar. The Rana begin com covering themselves with the healing mud of all at all times. Soon it's considered taboo to go mudless in public. I <laughs> know, that's too much. Let's go for a dead end. I don't want population growth. I'd rather have more science and leave the population growth to 2%. Just in case. And pick up a lot of technology so they can advance faster. There we go. They should be ready to evolve right now. The technology age. The cultivation age. The runner learn to mine simple metals, which they shape into a variety of tools. Using these, they can more easily prune their own growth and till the soil beneath their, their roots. They also begin domesticating and breeding animals, using them as beasts of burden, protection from herbivores, and a source of fertilizing manure. The domains have long plagued our heirs. They are clever creatures, which make it great sport to kill them when they attack. The Great Ones, what you want collective. I'm recording, right? Yeah, everything is being recorded correctly. Perfect. Let's go. So a new era is born. Oh, look at them. They're so cool looking. Let's go for wisdom. The Roman begins keeping records, creating the first system of writing, marking marking tables, tab tablets, with their own sap. They can they keep the tailored logs of the flora and fauna on Tau Seti Tree. Let's go for that one. I have 30 synthesis, I need more. Oh, they're moving ab above uh, a crab. Oh, that's so awesome. I love the detail. It's so cool. Glee system evolution event. A life form in the desert planet Glee C has started making simple tools and has developed a rudimentary language. Which species is it? This guy, the freaking... The Rao. Aggressive and solitary, these naturally armed creatures inhabit barren wastelands. Or the unbalanced species. I will go with the standard species, actually. I don't need the synthesis, that much synthesis yet. Um, maybe I should actually go to Rao and start, like... Like... Nope. Oh. Advice development event. Enlightenment in Town City. The Roman discovered that a species of giant plant has an interconnected root system reaching across all the known lands of Tau City Tree. An inner region arises that used the roots as a symbol, believing in the unity and interdependence of all life. We are each other's harvest, we are each other's business, we are each other's magnitude and bond. Good Eloy Brooks, American poet, 20th century C soul system. Let me see what we have. Civilization Pilar. This is new religion of unity is adopted universally by the Rao Groves. The value of life and the interconnectedness of all beings becomes central to Rao beliefs. Or regular development. The new faith spreads their message of unity and respect for all life, but not all Rao are interested. Or their end. Priests of the new religion preach that some roots are more valuable than others. That some Rama are like weeds struggling the life of the strangling the life of the grading organism. Now let's go for civilization pilot. More Utopia. More Utopia. Let me go now with the beautiful Rao. Let me just go with a little more synthesis because I need at least 30. I will increase their Utopia though. That's something needed. Um minor science, that's okay. Two synthesis for me. Then we will pick up this thing up. Come on, give me something useful. There we go, 30 synthesis. I have a good... A good... A good... Um, how do you say this? A good um, development event. Well, uh, the word is going to escape for me. Knowledge in Glees. The Rao create long and beautiful songs full of deep knowledge about the world and their people. These songs are memorized, improved, and talked from generations to generation. 
We are the song walkers. We, br we bring you the music of your ancestors, the dance of the gods, and the lyrics of wisdom. Hatchlings, listen to the wind and to the water, listen to your hearts and your soul. Let your father, mother of Or, Tegan Songwalker, 9000 years before the awakening, their garden system. Okay, what do we have? Oh, I can go for Civilization Pilar. These songs are crucial for the society of the Rao. They sing them constantly, and those who master the songs are chosen to lead the tribes. Regular development. The songs help the Rao to spread and preserve knowledge, or the end. Quickly, the songs are filled with false information and become useless, soon to be forgotten. Let's go for Civilization Pilar. Look at that speed. Um, let's go for this one. Let's decrease the number of potential casualties. Give me less population growth. I need that. No, more population growth, are you crazy? It's already 6% and that's a lot. Uh, more science, why not? And they have evolved. New technological air. They are reached the copper age. They all learned to mine copper, using it to create precise metal tools. These tools make it possible to expand the reach of natural oases using new irrigation and water re recapture techniques. Meanwhile, wise folk begin to study the stars of ugly seas, charting their course in great patterns drowning the desert sands. The last Shoshona died on our home world several millennia ago. We no longer have records from this time, but several excellent examples of copper jewelry were found preserved beneath the desert sands. Real Real, Shoshone Transpecious Archivist, Galactic Year 6403, Alpha Andromeda Cluster. Okay, show me what we have. Oh, minus 30. Power only give me plus 5, that's not enough. Let's go for this one, Advancement. I didn't read advancement, god damn it. I need to there we go, here you are. Okay, we need to start um decreasing the population growth urgently. Rama Growth Development Event Paradigm Shift in Tau City. With city-states growing and rulers trying to unify their people, the concept of a single god becomes more and more attractive for the Rana for the Rama. Having people rally around one religion is deemed to be very effective to advance a society, and so monotheism is proclaimed in Tau Seti. We encounter a curious hive deep in one of the ash deserts. They not only pray to just a single Magma Guardian, but they have the audacity to believe that all other deep guardians are just imaginary figments. High Queen Burl, Artemi Emperor, Second Cycle, One Wood System. Oh my god. Cultural descent. Conflict arises between polytheist and monotheist. Both sides equally stubborn in their beliefs. Oppression of people of a different faith becomes the norm. We're well, gonna need to choose that one. God damn it. I'm gonna need to be here a little while. Um Damn it, that wasn't ex that wasn't something that I expected. Oh, my less people I will take it. A more utopia, I would take it. I need to reduce the population growth now. I don't want to touch anything here. What about here? Uh, no, this is not a good idea. Let me just increase the ethic value. Okay, I have a good bunch of synthesis. A good reserve, that's the word I was looking for. A good reserve, That's that's it. They will have scarcity in 14,000 years, so they will be fine. Oh, the Rama Groves have reached another technological era. The Pollination Age. Advanced metalworking techniques make it possible to maintain large soil fields and create effective weapons to fend off fauna. Most importantly, pollinated insects are now domesticated, sparking a social revolution of direct reproduction. The lovely far flowers embarrass me. They make me regret I am not a bee. Emerson Dickinson, American poet. Let us go for... Advancement. That should do it. I think they will be fine. I just need to, to 
Oh, develop by Mandy Rao Territories. Reduction in Glees. Oh, this, this is new. The sages of the Rao learned to harvest the ashes of Glees sea volcanoes, using them as the key ingredient in a robust wielding material that will last for centuries. But the danger of mining active, active volcanoes poses great risk. Ashes were already falling, and not as yet very thickly. I look around, a dense black cloud was coming up behind us, spreading over the earth like a flood. Oh, this is from Pliny the Younger. Pliny el Joven, Pliny the Younger. Oh, Civilization Pilot, of course. As the territory learned the usefulness of volcano materials, their settlements soon come to be dominated by ash-based concrete block structures. Gleaming obsidian becomes widely used as an orna ornament facing, giving both their buildings and their personal decorations a unique appearance. Let's go for that one. More resources, less population, more utopia. Perfect. I think they will be fine for a while. Let's go with these guys now. Oh yeah, less population please. And less killing each other. That will be good too. Um, less killing each other. The less killing each other is really underwhelming. It doesn't make a lot of a lot of a lot of change. Kepler system evolution event. Another race is making tools. Who are they though? I have seventy two syntheses. Oh, I love this design though. Oh, this design is too lovely too. Super lovely. But we will go with an imbalanced species. These poisonous humanoid insects gather in large swarms. They dwell in the magmatic wastelands of Kepler 4 and attack every life form that enters their territory. Welcome. Okay, we need to help you out because you are already like going directly into extinction. It's going to be difficult, but I'm going to try to do something. A great war turned to Seti. Let me guess, I, the polytheistic versus the monotheistic? The succession for the, thro the throne of a mighty kingdom on Tau Seti 3 is unclear. Powerful noble houses scrambled to back distant relatives of the royal bloodline and marched to war to install their own puppet ruler. They do not divide up the empire until the late king's brother has hatched and the strongest stands victory over the siblings. Regent Road, Gor Go Gorgon Planetary Tyrant, 32 generation of the Gorgon, Epsilon in this system. Okay, let me see what we have. Peace! Please and thank you, that will be fine. Although regular conflict sounds good, the succession war lasts for many years and costs many lives among the Rao. The Roma, I mean. Um, less population will be nice, but I think peace will be gay. Thanks to a complicated marriage arrangement, the majority of the nobles are at peace and a centuries-long war is avoided. Peace! Peace and calm in our era. Okay, we need to do something about these guys, because they are going to go directly to extinction really fast. They, they are already ethical values, like, super, super low. Dystopia 90%, we need to do something about them. We need to increase the, the resources, we need to decrease their population growth. Um, we can decrease their technological era, I don't particularly care about that. No, stop giving me that. The sun will go dark if we fail to make sacrifices to the god. New technological era. The Vulcanites reach the Glass Age. New techniques are discovered to create a special form of hardened glass that can be used for a variety of uses. More advanced tools, implement machinery, and even weapons are made from this new material. Soon, great cities begin to rise among the endless dunes of Glee Sea. Those who live in glass houses shouldn't throw stones. Human problem. Okay, we are gonna go for wisdom. Astronomers use the new glass to create the first telescope. Meanwhile, artists create impressive kinetic sculptures that move hypnotically with the desert winds. Like that? I like that a lot. Okay, let's go with the hives. We need to do something with the hives urgently. Development event. The population in Klepper, just what we need. 
The Backland tend to avoid settlements and instead roam the regions of Kepler for alone. They rarely meet others and mate infrequently. Offspring are sent away as soon as they reach adolescence. Whosoever is delighted in solitude is either a wild beast or a god. Francis Bacon. English philosopher. Wasn't that a something that said Plato? Okay, massive depopulation, obviously. The urge to wander alone is overwhelming. All tribes and settlements are disbanded, and the Vagni only meet other members of the species once or twice in their lives. Good. That should do it. That should save you from extinction. Okay. We have saved these species from certain doom, so let us leave them like that. Let's go with these other guys over here. More technology will be good. Uh, let's go for more technology. I have enough synthesis to last me any kind of emergency. I love the music of this game, it's so cool. Although I want to decrease the growth. It's, a, it's 6%, I wanted to leave it at 4 so I only... Oh, Rama Woodlands development event. What happened? Power in Tau Ceti. The Rama designed complex siege engines. These hulking giants can curl simple projected over long distances, function through city walls and circumvent other fortifications. Then, attack the hook to the second core and launch it, and it will hit the target you want, if God wills. This account of, our, of ours is a complete, a complete operation of the Trabuchet, which is known as the Black Hamel. Yusuf Ibn Urugunga al Saratax, an elegant book of Trabuchets, 15th century CE soul system. Um, prevention cost me all my synthesis, so we're gonna go for regular development. The Rama build an arsenal of great siege engines, which often turn the, the tides of war. I don't like this because the harm potential is going up a lot. Oh, finally, less population growth. There we go, that should do the trick. What about you? I also want to 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 lower your population growth, so Um no. And give me a little more utopia, why not? I will take it. I will take less harm potential. Come on, give me a minus population growth. Well, we got the realms, develop event. Extinction, just what I fear. Triggered by vermin carrying invisible small disease agents, the cities of the Vulcanites become breeding grounds for a terrible plague. The illness spreads over the whole planet by, via trading route, is highly contentious, and kills its host slowly enough to create a global pandemic. How many valiant men, how many fair ladies had breakfast with their king folk at the same night supper with their ancestors in the next world? The Decameron, Giovanni Boccaccio, Boccaccio, 20th century CE soul system. Okay, let's go for close call, it cost me all my synthesis. Let's go for minimal survivors. The plague decimates the population of, vast, of major cities, only a small fraction of the Balkanites develop an immunity to it. Okay, we need more population growth now. Luckily, we are about to hit zero, so... We should be able to survive this. No, this is not what I want. I want the freaking... Okay, give me more Utopia. At least if they are all going to die, they will live in Utopia abundance. Oh, the Rama Rutlands have reached a new technological era. Reached the float age. Great floating island of ocean flora allow the Roma to reach all corners of Tau Ceti Tree. This living raft provides nutrients and stability for long voyages, the largest serving almost as floating cities. A new age of exploration has begun. Legends tell of a time when we crossed the great oceans of our root planet on a bed of softened algae. I take comfort when I imagine such a thing, dreaming of the gentle swaying as the, as the warm sun fills me with life. Nora the Pollen of Nengor, Roma Refugee Archon, year 5886 since the evacuation, Exodus Vessels D. Let's go for... 
wisdom. The exploration of lands across the ocean allowed Eastern Rama to personally connect. They realized that the same warm sun feeds every individual on Tau Ceti Tree. Let's go for that one. And now let's go here. We need to keep... I uh, need to take them out from the negative. Urgently. Uh, no, nothing here. Let me go in that case here. Can I give you something that you like? No. Oh well, speaking of them. A great war threatens Kepler. Oh, this is a new one. Oh, I love it. So cool. Only a few Beckham tribes know the secret of fire. The flame is protected by sacred, sacred fire keepers, but bands of warriors gather to obtain the precious red flower. Then the tribes, they, ca they came to steal their fire, and the wolves, they hauled it into the night as they fought a vicious angry battle to save the power of warm and light. Iron Maiden, Metal Band, 20th Century C. Um, regular conflict. The flame war caused many lives among the Bekai, as their sages stubbornly refused to share the knowledge of, their f of the fire sticks. Okay, now I need to go and pick up the freaking growth. They are having problems with growth now. If they reach a new technological era, they might be able to survive this. And I say that as I take away some of them, some of their freaking precious technology. Yes, growth, growth, growth. It put them in zero. More resources, always good. Especially for this one. Well, the Vulcan Plague Realms have something. Consumption in Gliss. Due to sophisticated traps and bows, the hunting of wild animals becomes much easier. Being a hunter turns into a lucrative profession, and a guild system is formed in the big cities of Gliss Sea. Until the lions have their own historians, the story of the hunt will always glorify the hunter. Chinua Chave, Nigerian poet, 20th century C, common age, soul system. Um, I will go with regular development. Hunting rights are, re are reserved only to the greatest counselors of the Vulcanites. They employ the expertise of the hunting guilds to disseminate the wildlife around their palaces. Just a little less um, things will not kill them. Oh, right. Thanks to the heavens. And thanks to the heavens, they started to grow. Good. That's something I wanted to see. Okay, let's leave them be for now. Let's go back to these guys. They need to grow. Grow. Um, at least give it to zero. Zero percent of growth. And that should do the trick. The storytellers of Capri try to live peacefully. Give me the synthesis. Uh, root Collectives development event. Injustice in Tau Ceti. A little thinker of the Rama Root Collective suggests that it, it is impossible to prove if gods, a soul, or an afterlife exist. The idea is profoundly influential in Rana society, enough so that it inspires some among them to dramatically change their lives. If there is a god, he's indefinitely, infinitely incomprehensible, since, having neither parts nor limbs, he has no affinity to us. We are the incap the incapable of we are then incapable of knowing either what he is or if he is. Blaise Pascal, French mathematician. Um, prevention will lead me. Well, it's okay. Though widely discussed, the idea remains probably a thought experiment that has no impact on the life of the typical Rama. Let's go for prevention. I can I can gather that synthesis really fast. Um, can you give me... Um, I will take less top, yeah. Just to have two synthesis. Okay, now that you're here, let us give you some of these. I really need to be over you, huh? No, this is not what I want. I want to increase the population. Give me the increase of population. 
There's a top here. Oh, this species is really evil. Well, new technological era. They were reached the obsidian age. Kepler for experiences an agricultural revolution, marked by the utilization of obsidian and other really readily available volcanic materials. These materials advance the back the back immediate immensely, as they are a perfect ad for the construction of tools and weapons. The drones of our hive started digging out the glass of the gods. This was the beginning of our path to grow from feverish swarm and to become the world eater empire. High Queen Realm, Ertemi Emperor, Second Cycle, Wormwood System. Okay, let's go for this one, Advancement. Just what I wanted. I would want a little less um, growth, please. I will really use the... oh well. Knowledge in Glees. The Vulcanists found guilds of mathematicians, navigators, and observers of the stars. These schools have the ear of influential nobles and rulers. Astronomy compels the soul to look upwards and lead us from this world to another. Plato, Greek philosopher. Okay, what do we have here? Oh, I can go for Civilization Pilot, and it doesn't cost me anything. The guilds become crucial for the Vulcanites. The emphasis on the greatness of the universe brings advances in physics, math, and philosophy. Astronomers become so influential they are elected as rulers. And they have advanced to a new era. Give it to me. Come on now. I need to click. Give it to me. A little more population wouldn't hurt. There we go. The technological era. The book must reach the Dune Ship Age. The Vulcanites begin to spread across the desert world of Glissi on great dune ships, skipping across the sands at unheard of speeds. These new vessels greatly expand the reach of their dune cities, opening up new possibilities for trade and exploration. The dune ships carry wine and glass and gold, yes, but more than that, they carry knowledge. Caesar the Wise, Ruonian Keeper of the Knowledge Hive, Time Stone 430 Glee System. And we're gonna go for... Wisdom? Or Advancement? Advancement will take the population up a lot. Let's go for Wisdom. But, ladies and gentlemen, this is all the time I have for today. Thank you very much, everybody, for watching. I hope you had a blast. I was the Lost Chevalier, signing out. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.